Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Karyan in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God higher and the biblical Jesus Christ from Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings, greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for, without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ. Hallelujah. All right. You can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name. Sister Carrie Ann, it is in solid gray body with a tick by the side of my name and nobody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video till the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of a higher. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for going in the comment section and communicating with brothers and sisters. I appreciate it. Thank you for those of you. Brothers and sisters who have blessed me through PayPal and also on this platform by hitting the thanks button. Ahaya, eternally bless you and your household. I thank you so very much. All right. We are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Messiah the Christ, but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one, the dirty Antichrist. Please understand that Satan through the Antichrist is going to change times, laws, and season. This world, they're going to call it the beast system or the new world order. But the Bible calls it lawlessness. That is what this world is going to become when the Antichrist begins to rule. And we're coming up to that period of time. Yesiah says, pray to be found what? Worthy to escape these wicked things coming upon the earth. I believe that the escape that Yesiah is talking about is the woman in Revelation 12. The woman in Revelation 12 represents uh, the 12 scattered tribe. Why? Because she's got the 12 stars on her head representing the 12 sons of Jacob and his descendants. The woman fleeing into the wilderness represent the second great worldwide exodus. Brothers and sisters, many people don't believe this, but it is going to happen. It's called the great worldwide second exodus, just like Moses' first exodus. It is for the people who went through the transatlantic slavery, the Hebrew Yeshahelite that's been hurt and harmed and scattered all over the world through the wicked, through the hands of the wicked. The most Ahaya uh, is going to regather his people. And then the sixth seal open up. That is when Yesiah burst the clouds, enter our atmosphere, and his hands is filled with rewards for the wicked and for the good. So you got to know which side of history you are on. All right. Prophetic theme song called We Are Near. It's a song that my mommy taught me. When I was a little girl, she used to hide sweeties and toys. And when we're near to the stuff, she used to sing a song called How Near You Are. Fitting song for these end times because we are near. And the song goes like this. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with. <clears throat> Right, confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, I've got two ministries one for the end time prophetic and one for the Hebrew Yeshua's. And this is an end time prophetic video. This is not my intended video, like I literally rush because I'm doing me here, brothers and sisters. I had to literally rush to come in here because it, it, there's a couple of videos that I want to upload, but I think that if I upload that videos, a lot of people are going to ask, Sister Karen, have you heard about the earthquake in Jamaica? Have you heard about the earthquake? So I just thought to myself, let me just quickly jump in here and just talk about in the last couple of hours. So what time is it now? Over here in Babylon, yes, Babylon, UK, um, it is um, nine o'clock, just eight minutes past nine. So I heard the news round about maybe in the last 45 minutes or so maybe quarter past eight or something like that or 8 30 i heard the news that 8 30 babylon uk it's time night time i heard the news that there's a 5.4 earthquake that has rocked the island of jamaica brothers and sisters listen to me those of you who have been following following my prophecies concerning the incoming earthquake and tsunami 
and tsunami for the country that is prophesied for the country this is no um it's no strangeness to us because this prophecy will come to pass it will be fulfilled now the 5.4 earthquake is a is a warning you might say oh well sister karen they always been getting earthquakes and then they don't have any for many many years after or whatever trust me 5.4 earthquake today that happened on the 30th of October 2023 one day before wicked Halloween because Satan is after blood sacrifice right one day after wicked dirty uh, one day before wicked dirty Halloween Halloween right um, the 5.4 earthquake hit Jamaica this is a warning it is a warning a high is still merciful he's still loving and he's, he's still kind but he is a higher of righteousness he is the higher of um of mercy amen so people on the island have got to repent and this is a wake-up call because all of a sudden I mean, when I was living there, we didn't know anything about wicked Halloween anyway. We didn't celebrate it. But in Jamaica right now, as I'm speaking, um, I don't know if they're still going to go to Halloween parties because the earthquake came. Uh, but now they're celebrating. So hell is on the island. They're not celebrating Halloween in the country. Something that the most uh, higher is against. Do not follow the ways of the heathen. His people are there. The Hebrew, Yeshua Helites are there. But all of a sudden, they've taken up the way of the pagan. They've taken up the paganism way. And said that is the way of life. And for quite a while now, the country has been celebrating Halloween. Welcoming it with open arms. Like Babylon US and Babylon UK. And all these Babylonian countries. But the 5.4 earthquake, brothers and sisters, it is a wake-up call. And they're not clear yet. Sometimes the Lord will send the warning to see how the people react. If they've got a change of heart. Because sometimes when the warning comes, it is very subtle. So the earthquake that hit the country in the past few hours or so... Um, there is no report of death with that the most higher. There's no report of casualties. All right. So we, we bless the Lord for that. But brothers and sisters, make no mistake that if the people do not repent and if higher after this earthquake and the most I test the heart or search the hearts of the people and um, it is still wicked. They're in problem. Like literally, literally in problem. The church have got to pray. People have got to, um, they've got to wake up. They literally have got to wake up. Um, so, so the earthquake hit um, west north, west northwest of Hope Bay, um, in northern east Jamaica, according to U.S. Babylon U.S. Uh, geological Survey. Um, it occurred at a shallow depth of six miles. All right, so it wasn't deep. So the Prime Minister of Jamaica basically said that no deaths or injury or severe damages has been reported, which is fantastic. So they have to heed the warning. Like I say, sometimes the most I will send warning very subtly. And don't think because earthquake always, you know, one in two time might be come to the country and stuff like that and nothing happened. And they don't see another one for another five, six years. This is a warning. This is a warning. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters. Um, so he's saying that he's, they're taking all precautions and um, keeping the country um, based of what is happening I want to say to Jamaicans remain calm um, he asked the Prime Minister asked the people to stay in a safe place in case of aftershock, aftershocks adding that the earthquake temporarily left certain areas um, without electricity and all of that and he said he give the Lord thanks well listen brothers and sisters I've been warning about this stuff 
this 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 is nothing new there is going to be an earthquake and a tsunami it's not only an earthquake that is a thing and the earthquake that i saw was um above 7 that the lord showed me my spirit that is going to hit the country that's a big one it's above 7 so it could be 7.8 or going into the 8 that is a that is a huge earthquake and that will in turn bring in a uh, bring the water into the country. We do not want that. Of course, we, listen. We don't want that. We don't want tsunamis. We don't want massive earthquake to destroy, interrupt the place, and everything like that. But brothers and sisters, listen to me. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah, the people refuse to repent. If Jamaica refuse to repent, if they don't stop the bloodshedding, if they don't stop um, the, the sodomy that's going on, up and coming in the country, if they don't stop the wickedness and all of that, listen, judgment will pour out on the country. I am telling you, Ahaya will protect his people. I have so many tsunami visions and dreams concerning Jamaica. Like, out of all the countries in the world, Jamaica is top where it comes to the tsunami and, um, and earthquake visions. So, people have got to repent. People have got to wake up. Let this be a wake-up call. Because tomorrow is not promised for anybody, brothers and sisters, like nobody. And I'll quickly show you... Um, if you go, I'm going to leave my playlist in the description box and pin comment section. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, hold on one second. Let me just. Uh... Okay, I can find it. Um, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, that people have got to be aware now. Just hold on one second. Yes, brothers and sisters, I have a full playlist um, concerning um the various um earthquake um, that have been prophesying um one i prophesied four years ago let me see if i can bring it up one i've prophesied four i'm not gonna play it one i've prophesied about four years ago brothers and sisters um sorry about that kids are <laughs> I'll look again. Um, just a minute. I just want to show you. So, I've got a, a, a playlist called Jamaica Tsunami. Um, Jamaica Prophecy, right? Okay. So, I've got so many playlists concerning this country. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of them, brothers and sisters. People have got to repent. Like, and these are from like four or five years ago. So this is not from yesterday or three months ago or a couple of days. No, I've been warning, I've been warning, I've been warning, I've been warning concerning Jamaica. I've been warning a lot concerning that country. So this thing is going to happen. It is going to come. The 5.4 earthquake, it is, um, it is a warning. And then we shouldn't brush it off. Not this time. Not this time. And listen to me, if the people out there are preparing to celebrate Halloween, they must not, they must not, listen to me, they must not by any means celebrate Halloween. Have Halloween parties. Don't do it, Jamaica. Please do not, do not do it. Don't do it. Don't celebrate this stuff. Don't go to no Halloween party. If you yourself are, are keeping keeping it, scrap it. Don't do it. I am telling you, if the island participate in the 31st of October 2023, and the, the island go into celebrating Halloween, This is a warning. 5.4 earthquake is a warning to the country. 
can't warn anymore brothers and sisters I really really can't I've done so many videos so many videos and it's so so sad you know that I call them I don't know what to call them these idol idol bloggers in Jamaica that's just they just talk about rubbish all they talk about is vagina and penises and anky panky and all of that's it who's got the biggest breasts who's in people's bed and all sorts of wicked foolishness and their stuff is just reaching so many people reaching the young people with rubbish and that is certain because he is the he is the prince of the air got to understand that so when it comes to the godly things come to the warning preparing the people to serve the most start preparing for destruction my videos don't reach the country and there's what can i do can't well it reach but if there's a hundred people it probably reach five that's how bad it is i'm telling you brothers and sisters this is no joke i've been complaining all the time it's my own country and i can't even reach them but if i should strip myself off strip off strip 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 go half naked do little grinding and whining speak dirty and nasty out of my i'm telling you the videos will reach because satan is the prince of the air i only can warn so much the country is not safe and they're not out of the woods jamaica is not out of the woods and higher is gonna keep an eye because anyhow they go into celebrating Halloween they're in a lot of trouble not only Jamaica but all over the world a lot of trouble this is a warning they have to wake up <laughs> people have to wake up brothers and sisters of what is to come so I've been warning for the past well I look at this playlist which I'm gonna leave four years Four years worth of warning. Let me go down to the bottom and see if there's more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five years. <laughs> Five years worth of warning. This one says grave warning for the country of Jamaica. Why we, why we say grave warning? Hold on, brothers. This... Why do we say grave warning? I think it's um, buffeting. Guys, I want to come to you uh, with Five just a ago. quick uh, revelation and vision that the Lord gave me. One was in 2016. And this vision that I'm going to share, it is about my beautiful, precious little country called Jamaica. As you can hear in my accent that um, I was born in Jamaica. But now I live in the United Kingdom for most of my life. But I love Jamaica very, very much. But in this vision, I, the Lord showed me that uh, a great earthquake and tsunami will hit Jamaica very soon. And when he showed me this in 2016, I posted it on my Facebook page. I went into the Jamaican groups uh, that I could get in and I've also posted it but they blocked me because they said that I was fear mongering and and so therefore obviously I can't post anymore in none of those Jamaicans group because they, they literally blocked me but two weeks ago but you see what I'm saying brothers and sisters so this thing with Jamaica and me prophesying to the country it's been going on for a long time this video was done um in 2000 and when 2000 and yeah so this is two th i had a vision in 2016 <clears throat> so in 2016 when the first visions came in concerning the lord showed me the earthquake and the tsunami and i wasn't using youtube as much i was only using facebook to do most of my ministries <clears throat> sorry start out my ministry with that and when the lord gave me this vision brothers and sisters i went into my search engine listen to me i went in my search engine on my facebook in 2016 and i type in lots of jamaica jamaica groups and all that look they blocked me like 
They said, no, you're fear mongering. We don't want it. So this thing of me, this is why I, I, when I do videos concerning Jamaica, it breaks my heart because it don't reach. The last time they rang me, there was a, to take the mickey. <laughs> Ahaya, you sit and you see. They call, I think they call the Star Online. It's a Jamaica newspaper. It's not the Gleaner. I don't think it's a Gleaner. It's called the Star Online. Let me see if I can find it. And in 2019, somebody rang me from Jamaica. And they said, we're from the Star Online. We heard about your three days of darkness. And we just want to do a little interview. That's what they said to me, right? This is Jamaica. We want to do a little interview with you. Um, concerning the three days of darkness, you know, because we saw the videos that you've put out. So here I am saying, glory be to the most high, you know, um, three days of darkness and all of that. Uh, people are going to hear, brothers and sisters, the, this, this newspaper mock, when I say they take the mickey, I need to find it. Um, let me see if I can find it. But they take the absolutely Mickey concerning um, what the Lord... I can't find anything. Um, yeah, we're putting news there. They take the Mickey, all of my brothers and sisters, the mock. They even get a pastor. They get some pastor to talk about or to, um, to analyze my three days... Not mine. To analyze the visions that I get about the three days of darkness. And this pastor basically said, I'm a mad woman. Not in so many words, but Matt as well said that. But he said, oh, God will never darken the earth. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's false. And the paper took the mickey. And they called me self-proclaimed prophetess. So they phoned me. And then they take the mickey. But it's okay. It's all right. It's, I still, I still warn, I still warn the people. Um... I can't find it. Let me hold on, brothers and sisters. Hold on. Oh, yes, I found it. So this was when, when was it? 2019. They, this this is it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't like to go on it, but I'll just show it to you, brothers and sisters. Because I call the star, this, these people. It's a Jamaican newspaper. Jamaican newspaper online. And that's the title. And, yeah, they really, you know, I, I cried. When I read it, three days of darkness, prophetess claim God is about to show Jamaica some major sign. Do <laughs> I, you, you know what? I, I talk, the woman said to me, talk about your three days of darkness. So the three days of darkness, darkness was for the world. It wasn't for Jamaica. So, you know, it wasn't for Jamaica alone. But no, they had me. Mm. The re I was so disappointed. And I said to myself, never again. I am not going to do it anymore interviews like that because they just twist the lie when i read the thing brothers and sisters have literally lied in it you know um yeah i'll, I'll try to leave oh they put in here as well yeah they said Giddin Giddin added that jamaica will also be faced with massive natural disaster an earthquake will trigger a tsunami hundreds of lives will be lost god is displeased with the people of jamaica and it's all mockery the way all the wrote it is just it's just it's mocking it's mocking what the most i um has given me as as uh, as prophecy to the country and it's to wake the, these people up like i say you know, they block me from these Jamaican groups. You can't talk to them. But like I say, if I was shaking me, me rear, having me, you know, the skimpiest stuff, titties showing, full face makeup, bright wig carrying on, yes, the videos will get traction. But when you talk about the most high, you talk about the warnings, you talk about the things that is to come to this country, it's like, yeah, she's fear mongering. Um... So, yes, there you go. So, this, this, so they went to a pastor. They wanted to discredit what the most I was saying. So they went to this pastor called, 
Jerome Hansel. Yeah, call his name because his name is in the thing. So they went to this pastor called Jerome Hansel of the Gravel Ground Independence Baptist Church in Clarendon. And basically the pastor laughed. Um, laughed before stating that he finds it rather peculiar that the Almighty would speak to her, me, alone about the darkness and disaster. Well, I'm not the only one in the world that the Most High is talking about the three days of darkness. I am certainly not the only one that the Most High is warning concerning Jamaica and the coming tsunami and earthquake that is going to hit the country because of their wickedness, because they refuse to repent. I'm not the only one. But yeah, so that was that one there, brothers and sisters. And I said to myself, I'm not going to ever give an interview like that again, because they just literally twist. And, you know, I was really disheartened. Oh, my days, these fruit flies. Father, God of creation. I don't know. Annoying. Anyway, I caught one on my, on my hands anyway. But yes, brothers and sisters, um... It is what it is. It is what it is. But these people just mock, ain't it? That's what Satan does. He mocks. But you and I know the prophecies are true. Prophecies are true. The tsunami, the earthquake is gonna hit first. It's gonna be over seven, all right. And um, and then it's gonna it's gonna bring in this great tsunami, uh, but it's gonna stop a particular part in Jamaica. And when I saw it in the vision, um. For this particle vision that I'm talking about. It, the tsunami stop. Well the water. Stop in a place called Linston. St. Catherine. So the, the, the tsunami came from Porto Seco. That area. Porto Seco way. It came all the way. That it should show you a powerful and you know, rush. But it stopped in a place called Linston, Jamaica. The prophecy is true. Like I said. We don't want no disaster in the country. Like no I don't absolutely um mm -mm. but at the same time brothers and sisters people have to repent you cannot play with the most high you cannot deal with him treacherously and expect that he's just gonna turn a blind eye it doesn't work like that he is the same today yesterday and forever more he never changes and he's a higher of righteousness he's a higher of holiness so people have got to wake up all right and understand the times and season that we're living in but yes i just wanted to come and um this is a warning for the country of jamaica all right be blessed brothers and sisters uh Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25 now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Messiah, our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever Amen, 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 blessings, amen.